So right now I have a few things on the go. Um, I've got a Kobo. I've got two physical books that I'm reading. And then I also have an audio book that I'm listening to. So let's get into it. All right. So currently I'm reading Good Neighbors by Sarah Langan. Langan? I'm really bad at names, so um, I have read this book before. Um, I just wanted to start the new year off with something that I knew I really enjoyed and would get through. Um, I have my Kobo, which I am reading a bunch of different books. Right now, The Stand is one of them. Um, I'll talk more about that in a bit. And then I'm also reading Babel. By R.F. Kwan, I can't. F I'm I. I'm horrible. I'm horrible at names. So I'm about just over halfway through Babel. Um, just over halfway through Good Neighbors. So yeah, for um my Kobo, um I usually have like a bunch of books on the go on the Kobo. Um, right now I've got. Let's see here. I'm about 64% done The Stand. Um, I'm 36% done Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life, which I am hate reading. <laughs> Not reading it because I like him. Uh, I'm also 20% into Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson, which is the second book of the Stormlight Archive. And then I'm also reading some other nonfiction stuff, so... We don't have to worry about that. Some stuff about mushrooms and, um, and then another one, I can't remember. I think that's it, actually. Um, sorry, I'm terrible at holding the camera. My dogs are being ruthless right now. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and do some reading. I got this goodie for Christmas. It's so nice and so soft and it's huge. I'll show you what it looks like on. Watching Bob's Burgers, but I think it might be supper time. Is it supper time? Is it time for the supper? Good morning. It is nine o'clock in the morning. I got up uh, around five thirty, 
and um, yeah, I've just been kind of putting around the house all morning, doing stuff, getting ready. I have a doctor's appointment at 10.30 a.m., so in an hour and a half. And I have to pick up cat litter, and I got to go to the mailbox. So, I'm going to leave here around 10, I think, and do all that stuff, go to my appointment, and then just come straight home after that. <laughs> That's my dog, wanting out. So I just arrived at my doctor's appointment and I am 12 minutes early so I'm going to just hang out for a little bit for maybe like 5 or 7 minutes and then head inside. I mostly just need to refill on a prescription and then we're raising um, the dosage on another prescription so it should be alright. I'm not too worried. Um, yeah, I'll check in in a bit. Bye. Any kid can drive. If I want to win. You think I can win? An A league? If you can get that bumper fart around the track in 70 seconds, imagine how fast you can go in this. Wow. You and this thing might actually have what it takes to knock Bryce off the top spot. He deserves to be beaten, by the way. He's a dirty driver. We call him Not Nice Bryce. But I don't know. The bumper cart is kind of a family project. Oh, sure, of course, yeah. You can just keep squirting water into your sister's mouth if you want. Ugh. Here, I made you this last place medal. It's gum. Good one, guys. Just like you, I love all gum. Mm. <laughs> okay, you walk away. Tina, what are you wearing? You got a good jumpsuit? <laughs> We've been through this, okay? Delta ah. Racing only has one driver, and that's you. I know. I'm driving for the Prince of um, Peters. What? Ecologist. You're abandoning Team Belcher? How can you do that to us? Pretty cool. You have your go kart all week if you want. Oh, wow! Isn't that great? It is pretty great. Hi. Hi, team. Hello. Um, so I'm a little behind. It is Monday. But I only have like 60 pages left of Babel, so I'm going to finish that and have a little chat about that. And then I think I'm also going to film um, my uh, mental health update video. So that's my plan for today. Uh, and I'm going to put around the house and do some cleaning and yeah, that's about it. Oh, I got some food I should prep. I got a bunch of stuff I should do. Um, oh, most importantly, though, I have to do my H report. So I'd have to get on top of that. Anyways, um, yeah, that's my plan for today. And uh, I will bring you along for the ride. What if we can't? What if we just end it? What happens if it gets to something that the end is already nailed for us? Oh, no. I'm going to be the one. Yes, that's pretty much how I remember it. There was a ceramic room on Friday, and on Monday it was gone, just walled up. Now, Rose, at the time, has Taco Tuesday been invented yet? I want to say it has. Thank you, no further questions. <gasps> okay, so they still have all the ceramic and pottery in the room? Yeah, I know. Good morning. I, uh showered and blow dried my hair and now I'm just chilling. Um, I finished Good Neighbors last night and it was just as good as I remember it being. I gave it four out of five stars and yeah today I'm gonna work on some stuff and <laughs> hopefully get this video out soon instead of just constantly filming me talk about how I'm going to get this video done. So, I am starting a new book. Um, it is... We Spread by Ian Reed. He wrote um, I'm Thinking of Ending Things and he also wrote Faux and 
I have read, I'm thinking of ending things and really liked it. So I'm very interested to see how this book goes. I'm probably going to start reading it pretty soon here. I'm just going to make some breakfast and yeah, um, hopefully today's a good day. I'm going to try and get everything wrapped up today so I can edit tomorrow and post video on Sunday. I'm going to try and do every two weeks, every second Sunday, I want to upload a video. Um, and then if I can get into a good routine, I'll do every Sunday, but um, it's just, it's not really uh, sustainable for me quite yet. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, we'll talk about some tarot cards and stuff today, and yeah, just, uh, just hang out and we'll do some cool stuff. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Interested? Obsessed? She was even on the committee of the club at the end. Really? So she worked with your dad? No. So I went to the GP and the GP suggested that I should be uh, committed. So this is where I moved to. And ECT was often used as a form of punishment. Hey, this is Editing Robin. Um, I forgot, or I don't know, I don't know what happened, but I don't have the footage of me um, reviewing Babel, so I'm just going to quickly talk about it. Um, I thought the book was really well written. It was, it was beautiful. It was original. Um, it really covered a lot of tough topics, and it did it in such a I want to say like a, not elegant, um, eloquent, is that the word I'm thinking of? I'm not sure, but it was done in such a way that it felt as if you were reading like a real book, like it felt like this could be like a real, like real life thing, like it almost read like a non-fiction, but that's also kind of the downfall of it. It was pretty dry after about halfway through the book. Um, I really started to lose interest and had to finish it as an audiobook, which I read a long time. Still, I had to finish it as an audiobook to keep myself motivated to finish it, so that kind of sucked. Um, I really want to read the Poppy War trilogy now because I thought Rebecca Kwan did such a beautiful job at creating this world, um, and I really want to see what else she can do. Um, I also read Good Neighbors, um, again, it's the second time I read Good Neighbors. I read it two years ago and loved it. I thought it was fantastic. So I thought I would reread it um, to kickstart uh, my reading challenge of 2023. And like before, I gave it four out of five stars. It's a very like interesting and uh, nuanced uh, book about, you know, the the 
trials and tribulations of suburbia. Um, it, it, it's, I really liked it a lot. Um, true warning, there is, um, our essay and unaliving in that book. That's almost a spoiler, but I'm not, not really. Um, and then I read We Spread by Ian Reed, and I thought that book was amazing. I gave it, I think I gave it four out of five stars. Um, it really, it really made me feel so many different emotions. Growing old is, uh, something that I struggle with, and even though I'm, like, only turning 32, like, it still feels like I'm losing my youth, and so... Just the, the idea of not just only losing your youth, but losing your mind and your body is very, like, scary to me. And I thought it was a really interesting, um, a really interesting story. And I highly recommend reading it. It's very quick. Uh, you can read it in one sitting easily. Um, I, I practically read it in one sitting. Um, I read, I read it in two, but I think in a total of, I think it took me like five hours to read it. So, um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much that. Sorry to end the vlog like this. Um, I'm going to do better. I'm going to be better. And, yeah, um, I hope you are having a fantastic evening, night, or afternoon. Um, or morning. <laughs> I always forget which ones. I, I don't even say them in order. I'm, I'm not like morning, afternoon, evening, night. I should say it that way, but it just comes out like afternoon, evening, night, morning. I don't know. It just feels right saying it that way. Anyways, um, I do plan on continuing the vlogs, and I do plan on doing more stuff. Um, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, and um, I'm going to finish editing this video, and then I'm going to post it. So, see you later.